I'm going to show you how to get your very own full featured personal developer instance of ServiceNow that you can use to test out the platform, play with its features, and build your skills to become excellent at all things ServiceNow. We'll walk through the process of setting up an account and joining the ServiceNow developer program. We'll then set up and log into your personal instance as a fully powered system administrator. And it's all free and super simple to do. Hey, it's Jeff Tees here from ServiceNow Simple, where we help you understand the ins and outs of ServiceNow, keeping it simple all the way. If you're new here, we'd love it if you'd hit the subscribe button. And all the links to everything we mention in this video, you'll find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. One of the cool things about ServiceNow is that they offer a free, full-featured personal developer instance or PDI to users interested in learning to develop on the platform or just generally improve their skills as administrators or users. The only requirement is that you have a genuine interest in learning more about ServiceNow and you sign up as a member of their developer program. There are no strings attached and joining the program is as easy as simply creating an account and logging in. We'll start by going to our web browser on a desktop or laptop computer and opening the ServiceNow Developer Portal website. The URL to that website is developer.servicenow.com. This website is set up for people interested in learning at a deeper level about the ServiceNow platform. Don't worry about it if you're not a hardcore developer. ServiceNow wants you to be here. The site provides lots of great information and training opportunities that can help anyone interested in maximizing their ServiceNow skills. So have a look around if you'd like. Normally, to access your personal developer instance once you're a member, you'll click on the sign in link and enter your username and password. You'll log in as a member of the ServiceNow developer program. We're going to assume you're not a member yet of that program. So let's get that taken care of first. To do that, click on the sign up and start building button and fill out the sign up for ServiceNow ID form. We'll enter our first name and last name, email address, country and password. Read and agree to the terms of use and click the sign up button. ServiceNow will create your account and send you a welcome to the developer program email. And we'll need that email message to verify our address and activate our account. From that message, we simply click on the link to verify our address and activate the account. And that brings us back to the ServiceNow Developer Portal website, where we can now sign in as an active member of the developer program. We'll enter the email address and password to our newly created account, and we'll answer two questions to help ServiceNow tune our experience. I'm going to say I do code and do not need the guided experience. And then finally, I'll select developer as my job responsibility, but you can choose whichever you prefer. We'll agree to the terms of use and click the Finish Setup button. And congratulations, you're now an official member of the ServiceNow Developer Program. Now there's one last step in getting our personal developer instance, and it's super easy. Just click the Start Building button to request your instance. ServiceNow uses names of cities from around the world, ordered alphabetically, to label their versions. Tokyo is the most recent version, so we'll select that for our instance and click the Request button. It takes just a few minutes for our request to process, and we can wait right here for a notification that our instance is ready. And there's no need to refresh your browser. The website will take care of that for you. And here we are. Our instance is ready. Now, I would highly recommend copying the URL and the username and the password, as we'll need those to directly access the PDI in the future. From here though, we can simply click the Open Instance button and we're automatically logged in to our fully featured personal ServiceNow developer instance. Clicking on the User menu indicates that we are logged in with the ServiceNow Administrator role, which provides us with all the permissions we need to do pretty much anything on the platform. But don't leave just yet. There are a couple of additional things you need to know about your PDI. The first thing to know is about hibernation. Anytime your PDI is left inactive for a period of time, and think like hours here, it will likely go into a state of hibernation. This simply means 
that its resources are scaled back and released for other people who are currently actively working in their PDIs. It's not a bad thing and nothing has been lost. When you come back to your instance, the platform will wake itself and you'll be set to continue your work. The second and probably most important thing to understand about your PDI is the activity and usage requirements. In order to keep your PDI, you need to be using it on a regular basis. That regular basis is defined by ServiceNow as once every 10 days. Meeting the activity usage requirements can be as simple as returning to the ServiceNow developer portal that was developers.servicenow.com and signing in as a member of the developer program. You don't even have to open the PDI. Another method of meeting the activity usage requirement is to go ahead and log into your PDI and take some action within it. As long as you do one of those two things every 10 days, you're good to go with your PDI and your PDI will continue to work. If by chance you miss the 10 day mark, your PDI will be reclaimed and you can simply request a new instance. The only problem is, is that any configuration or data changes that you'd made in your previous instance will have been lost. So it's important to jump into the developer program on a regular basis, sign in and be an active member of the program and use your PDI. So there you have it, your very own instance of ServiceNow. We hope you'll use it to follow along with many of the other videos we have published in our YouTube channel, ServiceNow Simple. Take for example, a look at the ServiceNow Certification Journey Series, where we teach you all you need to know to become certified as a system administrator within ServiceNow. We hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have, we'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. As always, we would love your feedback in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.